I'll start with the Aosu WR. So it's definitely a really fast, smooth and stable cube. The turning is really quite solid. And anyway, there's really not much... I don't really have that much to say about the turning quality. It's just really nice. Similar to the Aosu GTS 2, but the WR is a little bit thicker and a bit denser. And just for size comparison, I don't have the Meilong with me anymore, but this is the Light S4, which is a 59mm 4x4, and it's more or less the same size. I purposely designed the Light S4 to have the outer layer being obviously bigger than the inners, which the WR is slightly closer to being proportional and I think this is the exact same layer size as the Meilong, meaning okay I'm, I'm just gonna assume the Meilong size here is 14.5 inner 15 outer which okay I will probably get the exact values when I measure this thing but I'll do it another time and this cube in general is just really solid really nice and definitely has the potential to take over as the best 4x4 in fact right now I don't even know what can contest with this because it's definitely better than the Meilong which is what I previously rated as the best 4x4 and my current main because I don't own the Meilong is actually the Yisu V2M right now because this one also outperformed my Aosu GTS1 and it's really solid and stable but once again compared to this it's also not that much of a comparison I think this one is it's, it's, it's about the same speed but the stability and the smoothness is just a lot better maybe the corner cutting is not as good but once again this is just out of box Okay, so for the next cube, this one is the GTS 2 with the OW GTS shades. Okay, so speaking of shades, I, I need to compare the shades of this one as well. So, the shades are actually really close to the Yisu V2. So yeah, they're mostly the same, but the green is slightly darker. I think this is the Yixing Huanglong green. I know some people don't really like new shades, but I think they, they are quite nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you the full evolution of the Moi shades. So this is... This is the traditional one, which came with Classroom, and the way GTS series used this. The new Weilong GTS 2 uses the Ao GTS shades, which is similar to the Ao Shi, Ao Fu GTS, Ao Chong GTS, that whole series. And then of course the WR, so just compare all the three. Yeah. So I'll start with white, so white has no change. Red started the li as the lighter red, then it switched to the darker red, and it became slightly lighter again. Then for yellow, I think the old yellow is just pale. The the new one is the same and it's just brighter. And then for green, green they didn't change the first time. But the second time they made it darker and I, I actually like this green a little bit better. And lastly for blue, once again, blue is undergoes the same trend as the red. The old one uses a pale colour. Actually basically red, and, red, blue and yellow in general. Like the old one uses a pale scheme and the new one like darkens it and makes it more vivid. Whereas for green and white, like it's between the second and the third generation where they did that slight darkening and make the color more solid instead of like more pastel like which is with the old scheme. So now I'm actually gonna turn this cube for real and it's very fast. In fact it's fast enough to make it a negative point and my goal for setting this cube up is probably to slow it down because like I don't even remember the original GTS2 being this fast so it might be a setup issue or maybe someone had done really fast loop in this cube before it came to my hands but I do think that like this one is the, th the turn feel is definitely quite smooth and but the speed and I think the stability is slightly compromised because of like just how fast and how loose how yeah, it really feels quite fast and loose although the tension is not that loose so I think this cube does need a little bit more adjusting but uh, it's a GTS2 so I don't think I can get that wrong with, with a GTS2 but I still think RS2 would probably be better yeah I think that so this one is the Yifu V2M so okay in I do have a video about the Little Magic 7 and the Meilong 7, which is in the previous batch of cubes, which I've already written at that point in time, but that video is going to come out after I release this one. So, for this one, right away I would say that I like it a little bit better than the Little Magic 7, because 
And, and of course, I, I do like it better than the Meilong 7 as well, because the Meilong 7 came non to take out the box. It might have potential, but the problem with the Meilong 7 is that everything is really square. And this one definitely has very big flooring holes. It looks like an Uzi, and like just for size comparison, it's also the same size as the Uzi. So I don't have one with me, but it's supposed to be 69, and this is my 69mm 8x8. And yeah, really close. And another thing about this cube is like, like compared to the Little Magic 7, my biggest issue with the Little Magic 7 is that the outers are nice, but the second and the third are a lot slower than the outers. Whereas in this one, they are still slower than the outer, but the difference is not that great. And I do find that they don't slow me down as much. Although generally when you turn three layers on the big cube, you're turning through quite a lot more weights. But at least this one doesn't feel as heavy. Although I think there isn't really a 7x7 seven seven that can compare with this one. But yeah, but of course this is a full setup premium 7x7 seven seven with, a, with a defense against the deforming lockup that no other cube has. So definitely this cube can still deform, although it's, it may not be that easy but you can tell that it happens and yep. Okay, but in general I, I do think this cube does have potential. I don't think I can solve it as fast as I can solve an Outfu GTS but will it compare to the Little Magic or maybe even the Haze and Spark, I think it does stand a chance. In fact, my Little Magic timing is close to my Haze and Spark timing, although that one was very long ago, so if you account for skill improvement, I think the Haze and Spark would still beat the Little Magic by a bit. So will this one beat the Little Magic? I, I think it does stand a fair chance, although I do have to try that one out. Finally, this is the Little Magic 8, and right away this cube is a problem because of how big it is. So this is actually the original Yi Sing Huang Long 8 size, and I actually suspect that Yi Sing has recycled the mechanism and just because the classroom has made a really small and really stable 8x8 eight that is a budget cube. So, in order to compete, Yi Sing just rebranded their premium 8x8 eight eight into a budget cube and sold their Huang Long as a little magic. So, I, I actually think that just they just reuse the same mold to inject a cheaper plastic inside and sell it as a budget cube. Because like I've seen pictures of the mechanism before, so I'm not too sure if I can get a few pieces out. I think it's really tight, but this cube does feel a lot. Quite, it's not a very fast cube, and it's also quite crunchy. But the best thing is that, like the problem with the Meilong is that the uh, not Meilong. The problem with the MF8 is that these pieces here tend to pop out, but on this one, that I think it's a bit harder. But I think this cube is still not that invincible against deforming lockups either, but it's definitely quite a hard cube to deform. Yeah, I can deform it, but like it's not that easy. But apart from that, I think this cube is, is probably not going to compare to the to the MF8. Because like once again, like the MF8, just like the MF8, it's just really square all over the place, so I don't think it does have that much advantage in terms of corner cutting. And it's also really big and really heavy, which is the main disadvantage. So just for size comparisons, I'm going to pull down my MF8 first. This is more or less not a comparison because like, when it comes to size, stability and handling, I think this thing is has gone outside the boundaries of a non-WCA and stepped into like a 7x7 kind of handling, which is probably why it's so nice and so good. But like to compare with actual non WCA cubes, this is the Huanglong Nine and the Shengshou Eights, and yeah, this thing sits right in between the two, so eighty three, eighty seven, and ninety. 